Ta-da, we're through. One piece of advice, don't lose this piece of paper that they give you because you need that to exit Mexico. What's going on guys? It is Will Mitchell here. And today I wanna to talk to you about crossing the Mexico border from Belize. What's it like? What's the process? You can also fly. So this is something that a lot of people don't know, but Tropic Air offers direct flights from the international airport to Cancun. So that flight's about an hour or so, but this is specifically about driving to Mexico. So if you have a car in Belize and you wanna drive up, or if you wanna take a cab from the Corozal Airport or anywhere in Belize and cross, I'm gonna explain both scenarios. So we have officially met the baby. Guys, we're here, San Ignacio Hotel with the newborn of Addison and Fatima. Now we're on our way to the airport in San Ignacio to take a flight to Corozal. Normally we wouldn't do this, but we're going out of our way to see Maddie and daddy and fatty and when we get to the border we're going to walk you guys through exactly how it goes at the san ignacio airport Guys, we just landed at the Corozal Airport. So now we're gonna go in. We left our car back here. We gotta get the keys from Tropic Air and then we're gonna take the car to the border right now, which should take like about 15 minutes to drive over there. So here we are guys, we are on the Belize side of the border. You can see the immigration building behind me. We're about to walk in here. First, we're gonna clear the Belize side to exit the country. And then when we get through here, we'll take you over to the Mexico side. So when you get to the border, if you're a resident or a citizen of Belize, there's no fee. If you're not, there's a $50 Belize fee. So 25 US for the crossing. First thing you would do is pay that fee. Then you go up to the immigration side of Belize they're gonna stamp you out of Belize. Once you've cleared there, in between Mexico and Belize, there's this awesome free trade zone with casino, bars, food, you can hang out there. Usually for me, I just drive right through and go to the Mexican side of immigration where when you get there, you're gonna park your vehicle. And again, you're gonna get out of your vehicle, go in, they're gonna give you a Mexican immigration card. You'll fill that in. This might sound complicated, really. It's a super simple process. And after they've cleared you for the Mexican side, you can cross over, you have your vehicle. You do have to insure your vehicle in Mexico because your Belize insurance won't cover there. So make sure you get that insurance. They do it right at the immigration office there. Then you cross in, you're in Chetham Mall. So ta-da, we're through. One piece of advice, don't lose this piece of paper that they give you because you need that to exit Mexico. We'll bring you guys for a little bit of our trip in Mexico. So let's get through this final step of customs. There it is, you have it right there. That's how you cross the Mexico land border going through Corozal to Chetamal. Now we're gonna go in, uh, probably hit an OXO, which is one of their grocery stores, or I guess uh, it's kind of like a 7-Eleven. And we're gonna get phone SIM cards so we can use our phones here. And then we're gonna head up to Playa. So the drive to Playa is about, I wanna say three and a half hours, maybe four hours, depending on how fast you're going. We're not in a rush, we're gonna take it easy, and we're just exiting the border area now. So we'll keep you guys updated as we move up here through Mexico, but that's how you do it right there, guys. <laughs> 